Hi guys, so please note that unfortunately I was trying out a new mic system and it totally was a fail. So next time I will not be using this and as a result I had to use voiceover for the entire video. I did my best and regardless I hope you enjoy and thank you so much for watching. The microphone did work for the first bit of the video but then for some reason just stopped which is why I had to do the voiceover. Hey guys, we're here at Kabsa House to try the food. I'm super excited. Arabic food here, Kuwaiti food, different kinds. So yellow, let's go inside and eat. You come in and there's these little booths here. There's also cabins you can go into. Very private. Do I have to take my shoes off? Yeah. Alright, you take your shoes off. Thank you. Oh wow. Nice. It's like when we went camping. Hi guys. <laughs> Hello. Makluba is a traditional Middle Eastern dish. Consists of meat, rice, and fried vegetables placed in a pot which is flipped upside down and then served. The term makluba literally translates to upside down. This dish is hundreds of years old, and I bet we're gonna find out why it's a favorite still to this day. We also got some kapsa. Most Middle Eastern restaurants here in Kuwait have these separate room areas like you saw at Fishwala as well for families. I love the privacy, I have to say. The server always knocks three times and waits for you to invite him in before coming in as well. We have these at home as well, but most meals here are served on this plastic setting. First up is the pomegranate watercress salad. It has pomegranates, watercress, sliced tomatoes, sliced onions, and a delicious pomegranate vinaigrette made with pomegranate molasses. Here we have some mixed pickles and some mabuch, which is chopped chilies, green and red, and some hot sauce. What a good helper Salah is. Here is the makluba served first with a side of tomato broth with potatoes inside. And now the kapsa. All right, first up, I'm gonna try my favorite, pickles. This was actually a really good pickle. Next important thing is to pour hot sauce all over this dish. The tomato potato soup was so savory, hot, and hearty. All right, enough of the soup, let's try the greens. The greens were so crisp, so crisp, so crisp, so crisp. And fresh and tasty. A lot of people here traditionally eat with their hands, so I thought I would give it a try. Uh, yeah, and forgive me, but I made a mess. I make a mess anyway, but more so now. <laughs> you know, it wasn't that bad, eating with my hands. I didn't mind it at all, and throughout the video, I do alternate between using my hands and a spoon. Delicious. The only problem at first eating with my hands was how hot the food was. Hot the food was. Hot the food was. Hot the food was. But it turned out to be okay, minus the messiness. Now I'm trying the kapsa with a bit of meat with my hands. Okay now, dig in. And the kapsa was actually delicious. It was actually red kapsa, which means that the rice was made with tomato broth and there's fried onions in there and the meat was tender. Here I was basically just saying that the fried eggplant was so soft and delicious in that most things taste good fried, so <laughs> I wasn't surprised that the eggplant was delicious. The chicken was actually really juicy. It's got over here just the tiniest little stink hole, but it's big enough to get your hand right up inside of And easy to break apart. And the whole meal was just really hearty and filling and very healthy with all of the vegetables, even fried. At least their vegetables and the greens complementing the meal were also a very healthy addition as well. Why do I eat like a tarp? Oh. Oh. Time for mabuch. And the green mabuch is made with milder chilies. So the red 
is more spicy and that is what I'm opting for and it turned out to be pretty spicy as we'll see in my facial expression. I was noting here basically that it's easier actually to eat with your hands when you're eating something like makuba rather than a spoon because the vegetables are so large and chunky. This piece of fried cauliflower had all kinds of spices and sauce stuck to it and it was a heavenly bite. So mid-meal, Salah hands me this bowl and I thought it was just another soup but it turns out that it was dakus and one of the bowls was the tomato and potato soup and this was the dakus which is a tomato garlic sauce that you add to rice it usually accompanies many rice dishes here in kuwait and it's really good the dakus just adds a whole extra layer of flavor complexity if that makes any sense in this part i was giving you an arabic lesson and letting you know that chicken in arabic is called dejaj which of course i learned from my husband i think makluba is one of my favorite dishes i've tried so far here in the middle east alongside the chicken machbus which also comes with dakus sauce the fried potatoes are thinly sliced and they practically melt in your mouth. They are so delicious and soft. Alright, so here I decided to end the video and eat in private with my husband a bit, enjoy our meal, turn the camera off, and of course we did actually have lots of leftovers. The meals were definitely shareable. We wanted to get a couple of dishes though, just to show you a bit of variety. So thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one. Unspool it into my mouth till that card is at zero. Bye. I feel like a pig, but you know what? I'm going.